How's it going my friends? Welcome back to NFT Revolutions. My name is Freddie Colton and today we're going to be discussing a very fascinating project that I just ran across. Today we're going to be discussing the Meta Cricket League. Now that is on jump period trade. Um, and this, this is an NFT marketplace where they actually trade the NFT for the project. It is a game, of course, involving NFTs. Um, <clears throat> and we're just going to go through a couple of different aspects about this. Uh, it is a game that will also be available on Android from what I can find. Uh, we're going to go through some really cool articles because there's a lot of buzz about this. There's I'm not going to show it in this video just because I... Uh, Again, I'm always re really wary about showing it, but you can actually look. There's a lot of buzz about this on Reddit at the moment as well. Um, so the NFT collection, check it out. The Jump Trade NFT Marketplace enables you to buy uh, uh, NFTs belonging to two categories, the Meta Cricket League NFTs and the Meta Cricket League Signed Bat NFT. Marketplace may also feature more sports NFT in the future. Uh, and in that regard, so this is actually the main marketplace, but you can go separately. So here are some of the players you can actually get, which they've got really fun designs, honestly, funny glasses, just interesting designs in general. And then these are the Signed Bat bats by the players um now personally uh, i don't actually know a whole lot about cricket as an american um to the point where I, I believe from what i have figured out is these are these are the digital signatures of actual famous cricket players and some of these are based on real cricket players but um that is just from what i've seen people say so take that with a grain of salt uh, again but either way it's very cool um and i think this at the very least gives them the opening to work with real cricket players which you know again i i am an american so i don't know much about it but i do know for a fact it is a big game everywhere else in the world so i think that that is something that is to be respected in any aspect um now they're actually <clears throat> I was thumbing through here on their Discord. Uh, they've got a lot of info here on Discord as well, if you're ever interested in anything going on. A lot of, um, which it's pretty cool actually, they have a Hindi and a Tamil chat as well, which I think is uh, really cool to sort of have that diversity of language in any project, because I think it opens up your options quite a lot. And of course, in other countries than English speaking countries, there are, you know, billions of other people. So it's really not a bad idea. Looks like I had a little collar flip right there. Just got to pop it back into place. Um, and then we can see here Jump Trade NFT. Now, this is their, um, <clears throat> excuse me, their official Instagram account. Just over 9,000 with almost 9,000 over here on Twitter. Uh, and we can see Authenticated Cricket Digital Collectibles. Bring the heat to Meta Arena. Join the community. And... Now, there are some really cool articles about this because this project did get some really good buzz initially. 55,000 Meta Cricket League NFTs sell out in nine minutes. And this is actually reported on in a couple of different news articles, if you can kind of see. Um, the uh, the last two websites, I don't know so much about. The first two, Yahoo and CoinCora, I know more about as legitimate sites. But um, I think either way, it's very impressive. And you can see this has gotten some good engagement, 45. I again, and you have to understand engagement like that on any other website like is really solid for any project i know 45 might not seem like a lot but that is great engagement for any project because it shows there's much more than 45 actually engaging with the real project um as we can see here quite a lot of nft sold out now here's some cool fast facts about the nft that i do think is interesting it is now priced at 25 plus each uh, some of them are much more depending on the rarity and they actually initially sold at 1250 so um this project is technically doubled more than doubled um already actually well doubled at 25 but uh, i believe a lot of them are going for closer to 30 plus um from what i could see on the market super loot nfts market guardian links foray into the official in or excuse me artificial intelligence powered metaverse gaming industry erc 721 nfts held a unique smart learning system powered by the game's AI were minted on Guardian Links Layer 2, which works across bridged networks of Polygon, Ethereum, Avalanche, and Solana. Meta Cricket League's a new play-to-earn P2E game that allows players to earn rewards by climbing their leaderboards. And while I'm thinking about that, of course, let me make sure to give this, I apologize doing in the middle of the video, but please do keep in mind this is not financial advice. I am in no way a financial advisor, purely just a crypto geek who loves to discuss fun, cool new projects that I run across. So with that being said, please do keep in mind, take everything I say with a grain of salt. 
you know, don't invest in something just because I talk about it. Please make sure to do a modicum of your own research on any project you decide to invest in for yourself. But we will jump back into the research together. Jump Trade is expected to launch Chelsea Football Club collectibles, which is cool. NFTs featuring exclusives such as tickets, signed postcards, and photographs representing the team's history from 1905. And I am smart enough to know that Chelsea is a real football team, um, as anyone else in the world would call football. Uh, I think soccer. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to all of you. Um... Anyway, uh, this is just a really cool project at the moment. There's not a whole lot to discuss here, but that's kind of part of why I really love this is it's a nice and simple project to understand. It's a fun game. They're building their way up. It's got a great team behind it is what it seems like. And they're clearly working very hard. They've already been working for quite a little bit. So this is a project that is still inexpensive to buy into if you are actually interested in buying into it. However, um, you know, there there is, uh, it's just at that low cap enough that there's use and interest to buy in, but at the same time, there does seem to be upward mobility, especially with the fact that, obviously, if you were to get a specific type of player, uh, there's a large percentage of the world that is are fans of cricket, for those of you who are American viewers, uh, who might not really know that very much, so... <clears throat> Also, again, the football, right? You know, Chelsea, I know, is one of the more popular teams. I've, I hear about it quite a lot when people discuss football. So with that in mind, it's here on Jump Trade is where you'll find it. Jump period trade, which, by the way, great name for a website, extremely marketable name. But um, that being said, again, very cool. You know, I, I appreciate what they're doing here with this. They're not trying to make it too complicated, anything like that, and go into every single aspect of a project. They just want to make NFTs and a good game which is a really great thing to med, mel, uh, meld slash mesh together for a good project. But my friends, as always, thank you very much for coming by Crypto Coins. My name is Freddie Colton, and I will see you in the next episode.